Hello, hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about Paladins, Champions of the Realm. Some say it's a clone of Overwatch, others say it's a copy of Team Fortress. But for me, Paladins is simply a free-to-play hero shooter video game. The game was on beta for PC users and PlayStation 4 on September 2016 and on May 2017 Xbox One player were able to experience the content of this game. So let's dive in in the gameplay and the roles that are available for the players in this game. So far High Res provided 29 champions in Paladins, 8 of which are available from the start for new players. Now every champion that you have in game falls into one of the following categories Frontline, Damage, Support and Flank Being a team based shooter, players must rely on strategy, character knowledge, coordination and teamwork in order to attain victory Having said that, a good team will always have a balanced choices of classes that will support each other during the game Now the Frontline these are the champions who serve as the anchor of the team, holding the front line and protecting their allies. With high health pools and shielding capabilities, frontline champions excel at blocking enemy fire and disrupting enemy objectives. Now, the damage dealer champions are the ones that possess the reliable and consistent damage outputs or large burst damage potentials. Their damage, coupled with average health pools and decent mobility, makes damage champions ideal for skirmishes and extended firefights. Now my favorite class are of course the support champions. Not a lot of people play them or play them well, but these guys with high utility and healing abilities are the backbone of any team. Now flank champions are the ones who excel at traversing the battlefield and getting behind enemy lines. While most flank champions are relatively frail, having lower health pools than any other role in the game, their excellent mobility and self-sustain provide them with the means of escaping and surviving. Now Paladin has a couple of game modes for the players to enjoy. One of them is Siege and this is the main Paladin game mode. Teams are tasked to first capture the map central point and if successful, push a payload that spawns from it to the enemy base. Now the other game mode is payload. An attacking team is tasked with escorting a payload through an extended railroad track to push it as far as they can or to the end goal. Now, as the defending team tries to stall their progress, a push is halted if both teams are engaged in combat near the payload and it slowly moves backwards if no one on the attacking team is nearby to push it. Though the push process the team has accumulated is not lost, once the time runs out or if the payload is pushed to the destinations, teams are switched attack and defense roles. The winner is determined by the team that pushes the payload the furthest. Now the last mode that the game has to offer to the players that is not a competitive one is called Onslaught. And the way you play this mode is that two teams fight over a large combat area in an attempt to control certain areas and earn points. You can also earn points in this mode by slaying enemies. Now the competitive game mode in Paladins is unlocked for players once they have 12 champions. But you're also gonna need at least a level 4 in Mastery for the champion that you're gonna use. Now unfortunately the competitive mode only supports the siege mode. Also, High Res announced that a rework of the current competitive system is underway. They haven't released any specifications or release dates, but stay tuned for that in the near future. Let's just keep in mind that Paladins within the week of its release on Steam had attracted almost 1 million players to the gaming community and it reached the top 10 most popular games at the time. In my opinion this game is worth getting. There are not a lot of titles out there with this level of content, free of charge, I must highlight for a player to enjoy. This is all for today guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you all next time. Tell me pretty lies, look me in the face, tell me that you love me, even if it's fake.